Hey everyone, this is Corey from Radical Health and today I am here to tell you about a very neglected vegetable and that is carrot tops. And you know, a lot of us get our, our lovely carrots, our organic carrots, and we just rip off the tops and toss them out, put them in the compost. But these are a highly edible part of the carrot. And in the old days, people used to commonly eat carrot tops. No part of the vegetable was really wasted. And um, you know, it's really good not to waste these because they are full of various nutrients. They're high in potassium, magnesium, which is a harder to get mineral. They are high in iron. They are high in vitamin C, as well as various antioxidants. They're uh, fibrous and just, uh, yeah, why are we wasting these? They're wonderful. Now, I guess uh, a reason why they do go wasted is because they have a slightly bitter flavor and in North America, we're really not used to that bitter taste anymore. But you can do a lot of things to kind of tone that down. So first of all, uh, you could blanch these and to blanch these, you just boil some hot water, put them in really quickly and take them out. And that really reduces the bitter taste. Of course, it will soften this, so you'll want to add it to like softer recipes, things like soups and stews. But you don't have to blanch them if you don't want to, if you don't mind a bit of that bitter taste. And then another way to do it is in your recipe, add something sweet and something fatty that will help tone down the bitterness. Um, so I'm going to share with you a couple of my favorite way to use these. Uh, first of all, if I'm feeling lazy and I have enough other greens, I just like put these in vegetable stock. And if I'm not making vegetable stock that day, I toss it in the freezer and then I grab them and I throw it in vegetable stock when I'm ready to make that. Um, I sometimes add them to soup. So right here, I actually have, I hope you can see that, a carrot lentil Turkish soup and the carrots in that sweeten it up, right? So you could add carrot tops to any carrot recipes, duh. And uh, those flavors naturally combine really well and the sweetness of the actual carrots will tone down the bitterness of the greens. Now I have also made a amazingly delicious carrot top pesto and I'm gonna post the recipes in the comments and uh, it based, I, I think it had pine nuts in it and a little bit of honey and it toned it down and I froze that and then I took it out throughout the winter and uh, made pasta with it and it was absolutely delicious. So I can't quite remember what was in the recipe at the top of my, off the top of my head but I'm gonna look it up and put it in the comments below. Last but not least, I have made a r incredibly delicious carrot top couscous. So basically I just grabbed, you know, some couscous, cooked it up. I chop carrot tops in there. I add in um, some raisins, some currants, some goji berries, different types of nuts. And that just like really sweetens it up and it makes the flavor a bit more mild. And uh, I get all those delicious greens in it. You could also um, add it to your tabbouleh or like lentil salads. So really, um, you know, any creative way that you would usually use greens, you could try experimenting by using a little bit of this. Of course, you could, don't have to use all of it in the recipe. Like if your recipe calls, like a tabbouleh that calls for parsley, you could just add a little bit of carrot tops and see how that tastes. And of course, there is the good old just stir frying them up in a bit of olive oil and soy sauce. It tastes pretty good. I finally do kind of soften a bit and the stems stay fibrous, so it's not my favorite way but uh, absolutely a good way to use a lot of this. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this short little video. Of course, there's many more ways to use carrot tops. So please, if you have a recipe or a suggestion, just post it in the comments below. I'd love to check it out and I'm sure others would too. If you want to see more videos about how to use less common vegetables, as well as gut health, microbiome, and fermentation information, subscribe to this channel. Thanks so much, everyone.